All right. Uh, okay, yeah, we are recording. I wasn't sure that we were. So real quick, I, I wanted to touch base on something that I didn't really know a lot of detail about, uh, these uh, Heroes of the Cross uh, medals and their usage and how they've been applied and used in the past and during World War II and through the 50s and even current day in the Bundeswehr. And why am I bringing this up? I'm bringing it up because, I, I, A, I uh, saw a Twitter thread where someone was complaining about uh, the NAC, Spanish war game company or, or game company, I should say, that uh, has made a, a economic slash military game about the uh, production optimization uh, of the Wehrmacht during World War II. And your goal is to try and be successful where they weren't. And of course, basically the way the game set up, you can't really win, but you can lose the least, I guess. Uh, it's sort of a cooperative slash cooperation game, but uh, up to four players, I think. I'm not sure. It's been a while since I've looked at it. Nevertheless, got a Kickstarter and they have this uh, cool little uh, 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 stretch goal, and that is you can get a little uh, iron cross, I guess. And so uh, it's in the shape of all the ones you can see on the screen. No different from any of them, so it's got different colored ribbons and all the rest of it. And, uh, you know, obviously it evokes some themes, but uh, it's not a direct copy of anything directly from World War II. And there was big tizzy, all the usual feelings police came out. You've got the PhD of feelings, Liz, and you've got uh, Freddie, I don't know what I'm talking about, uh, chap out there. And, of course, Harold Buchanan and his little crew you know, all the little uh, all the little folks that have to change the way war games are and change the way that we think about things and change the way that uh, we even reference war games. So unfortunately, this is kind of a die on the hill thing for me. We're dealing with history here and it's unacceptable that uh, if you don't like something about how someone's presenting the history to, to you, you can move on and just not participate, not play the game, not buy the game, not support the game, but don't be a freaking crybaby about it and go and whine and, and go on and do the drama and all the rest of it. Just move on, right? Uh, and stop trying to change the hobby from what it is. The hobby, the war gaming hobby, is 99% about exploring the history, understanding the history, understanding the what if and the why and how it all came about. And that's what it's about. And sometimes we deal with ugly things and we're dealing with death and mayhem. And we all get that. And it's not like we're sitting here going, yay, oh, I killed a bad guy or a good guy. Uh, it, we're, we're exploring the games and enjoying the history and, and learning a little bit and having some fun with our friends while we do that. In the meantime, we've got people who, who want us to abandon the word war game and only use the word conflict simulation. And they want to shove all this other Euro bullshit in there that might be a historical game with somewhat of a war theme, or maybe it doesn't even have a war theme, but it's a conflict. Uh, it's a conflict of sometimes feelings. Sometimes it's a social issue. That's not a war game. Unless we've got kinetic action, it's not a war game. So get back to this thing here. We've got this this issue uh, bubbling up on Twitter. I posted about it on uh, the, the board game, uh, the big board uh, group on Facebook. And of course, the Facebook sense of police took this picture down because, you know, who promoting evil. And this is the problem we have with current society and the way that we're with the way that we're being forced and managed and monitored and uh, edited to not have these discussions. We can't improve the understanding of the neophytes and the troglodytes that don't understand the history of these crosses. You know, if they were orders of the Soviet Union, it'd be fine because, you know, in fact, the guy that was kicking the fuss up has got, you know, his icon is freaking Stalin. Talk about mass murder, right? Uh, anyway, we can't have conversations about this stuff unless we're able to have conversations and share imagery and discuss and show a medal from the 70s and 80s, a medal from the past, and the medal that is uh, in the Kickstarter offering. So anyway, it's a little rant, and I'm, uh, I'm getting a little tired of being pushed around 
and having people tell me what to think about the American Civil War, about World War II, about communism, and about your fucking feelings. I don't care about your feelings, right? I don't care. If your feelings are being hurt, move on. It's a feeling, it's not gonna damage you. And if you think you are going to be emotionally damaged, hire a therapist. Anyway, in the meantime, now I am gonna work out ways where I can present uh, more and more information about this game from NAC and hope uh, that the, the Kickstarter is even more successful and that, uh, you know, they sell a whole bunch of games. I'm not buying the game personally. I don't, I'm not that interested in it. It doesn't, it doesn't appeal to me to play economic whack-a-mole uh, with the game. But I liked what I saw. I liked the guys who built, who built and designed the game. And I think they have a lot to offer from a, from a fresh blending of uh, some Euro mechanics and some more potential war game mechanics. Uh, so I think that might do some uh, other cool stuff in the future. So uh, now I'm a fan. So we got that going for, for us, which is nice. All right, enough. I, uh, I just beg his belief that A, we get censored about this nonsense and B, we get people with their knickers in a twist over all this bullshit. It's just, it's unbelievable. All right.